What is going on you guys? It's Rob here again for another video. Today we're going to be doing that thing I told you I did but I didn't tell you about. And that is going to be installing the sub and an amp with a line out converter in the back of my car. This is not an OEM audio kit. Uh, this is strictly my own stuff. So this is the sub we're going to be using. It's just a 10 inch JL audio sub. I don't know what the exact specs are but I know it's very good because it came from a very good setup before. And this is the amp. It's just a 1500 watt Planet Audio amp. Again, way too good for what it's doing. And then that's the Zapco line out converter. So those three things and some electric wire to wire it all in is literally all you need to do this it's like the easiest thing in the world so to start step one you're going to disconnect your battery which is going to make your throttle relearn which you're going to kill yourself for afterwards but it's step one and then when it comes to wiring everything and putting everything in i like to start from the front and kind of work my way back um, so the first thing i did was put the power wire to the battery so i just attached it right here on the outside of the positive it's got one of these things already on both sides and i just kind of tapped into it on the outside and then my wire already had this little wire protector black stuff on it um, but if yours doesn't, you should probably get some just to keep it a little bit cleaner. And then literally just ran mine across, two-way taped it right there, and then it keeps going. And then there's a grommet down here, I don't know if you can see it, that you can use to snake through. So that little extension piece already will be there from the factory. If you look at yours, it already sticks out like two inches. And I literally just cut the tip off and the wire fit perfectly inside and it comes down right below the driver's pedal. And then just tuck it all up. I bundled a little bit of wire down in there and then shoved it through so it looks neat. So then you have to take out the back seat on both sides, um, which is actually very easy. You just take out the 10 millimeter bolt, which would have been right there. And then there's a tab in the back, so what you would do is just press down on the top of the seat really hard and it just kind of slides out this way. And then once you have the seat out, you're going to take out the little side panel and then lift up this little trim piece just by pulling on it. You can use the little the tools, but I don't. Um, so just pull on this and then you literally just start pulling this. Um, back until it all starts popping out around the whole thing and then just slide it out. It's just one huge piece. And on the driver's side, you're gonna to wanna to take this whole piece completely off because you're gonna go right up to the front. Then you're gonna take that piece off where the hood latch is um, and then you're gonna run the power wire which comes in from up here. So you can see it comes in through that grommet and then it runs down and behind that piece and all underneath the trim. So all underneath this trim on that side and then obviously when you put the panel back on, tuck it in behind the panel and it'll shoot right at the back. So then with your panel off, this is kind of where it gets a little confusing. You have to splice the wires. So basically how the line converter works is it takes power from the two back speakers, makes it into one signal, and feeds it to your amp, which then gives it to your sub, which gives you the bass. Um, so it takes two signals, one from each speaker in the back, and converts it into one good signal for your amp, and then gives it to your sub. Um, so what you have to do is you have to find the negative and positive on these back speakers. So that's what you'll be left with once you take the panel off. And you'll notice that these are like yellow and whatever other color that is, like tangerine color. Um, but if you look up in the back, they're black and red. Um, so red's always going to be the positive, black's always going to be your negative. So you just look, yellow goes to red, and you make the red your positive, or the yellow your positive, and then this beige one goes to black so you know that that's your negative one. So you are then going to splice new wire that's going to run all the way back to the line out converter from these. So I spliced the red one into the yellow and the black one into the, the beige wire. Um, and by splicing I just mean I cut a section of this wire off so I stripped out just the center piece then I welded the new wire right on there right in the center. So then you just have to run those wires from both sides all the way up to the one place where you're gonna have your line out converter and put them into the appropriate spots. So I haven't got too fancy with mine yet I just screwed it right to the side of the styrofoam right there um, but you can see that there's a bunch of wire coming up from under there. So that wire that you're seeing right there is coming from the driver's side back speaker and then this one over here comes from the passenger side speaker and they both come right up and go into the left and right sections on this guy here. And so once you've done that and you've run both sets of wires um, from both the back speakers out here to the line converter, you've literally done half of it. And then on my car, I made this while I was doing it just for reference. I don't know, I know the FRSs are different, but so if this was your line out con converter and this is this amp, um, what you're gonna do is there's gonna be an out section on here and that out section you're just going to run a wire from the out to the turn on on this amp for the turn on there's going to be a light green wire in the factory amp which is in here so you're just going to pull out both these tabs there's going to be a light green wire in the left section and that's what you're going to use for the turn on for the line out converter and then the power changes with all the different models 
Um, so mine is just the top right from the factory amp. So yours will also be the top right. So just this top one up here, doesn't matter what color it is, it's always gonna be that top right wire. And then ground from the line out converter, it goes and it matches up with the ground that comes out of this amp and just ground them together wherever. So out from the line out converter goes to turn on the amp. The light green is your turn on for the line out converter. Your top right wire is gonna be the power for the line converter. And then your ground, you're gonna mess it with the same, same place as the ground from your amp and you're just gonna ground them somewhere inside your car. Um, I just sanded a little bit of paint off the bottom lining of my trunk and just drilled a, screw, drilled a screw through the bottom and put them both on the same screw. Once you've got the line out converter all wired up, you're gonna put the these connecting cables that run from the line out to the amp and you're going to connect those and then there's a little adjustment on here I don't know if they all have it but the more money you spend on the line out converter the better it gets and then you're going to set all your adjustments down here on the amp and then over here on the big amp you're going to run your power from up front this is going to be your turn on from the line out converter this black one's going to be your ground which is going to go together with the other ground and then you just set a positive and negative for these wires and these wires run right into the side of the sub. And it's literally that easy. It took me a couple hours um, and the throttle has to be relearned when you unplug the battery which really sucks but um, it's worth it for what the sound you get out of it. Uh, now I haven't really made mine tidy yet. I've just been kind of driving around with it sloppily in the trunk but I am going to make some kind of custom back seat setup but I'll show you that guys in a separate video. Um, but that's just how you wire it all out. I didn't go into it full depth or anything because I didn't really want to confuse anybody. It's really easy. It's plain and simple. You just start in the front run your power up the sides you got to pop basically all your panels and all your back seats off run your power up the side run your two back speakers into the line out converter do all the wiring that I showed you with the little diagram in the back um, and then plug your amp and your sub in and get everything dialed into the way you like it and you don't even have to take your head unit out there's no confusion there's nothing really hard to do it's really easy to do and it can be a lot cheaper because you don't have to buy the OEM audio kit you just kind of get whatever you want and run it this way um, but the more you spend on the line out converter obviously the better it's going to be and that's all I have for you guys today because like I said, I'm going to show you guys my like custom backseat thing I'm going to do for it later in another video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.